a lot of straight male friends, yeah? Because I am an ally. <laughs> so we got obsessed with Love Island in our household, and what we did was we figured out our love statistics of our lifetime. So I figured out, people, I figured out from the beginning, all the way from zero, all the way to the end. Now, I had kissed nine uh, people in my entire life, and I thought that was actually an entirely average amount until I asked one other person, okay? <laughs> Turns out that's pretty low, right? <laughs> Especially considering the fact that I have literally never rejected anyone in my life, right? <laughs> like, uh, I run a very open home policy when it comes to that sort of stuff. <laughs> Come on in, choose on, choose off, right? It's fine. And it's crazy. I've kissed nine, I've kissed nine men in my life, right? And I honestly think that subconsciously there I am holding out at single digits with men, um, because I think once I hit double digits, it does mean that I am definitely straight and I'm not ready for that. Uh, <laughs> not my future, not my president, yeah? That's um, a horrible thing to sign up for, right? Because it, it's, the, it's the worst, um, it's the worst of all of them. <laughs> sense, right? It's the worst sexuality gender combination. I, I know it's very un -PC to rank them, right? <laughs> but it is at the bottom. It's, it's worse than being a straight man if you actually think about it, right? Yeah, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> but what it means is that given all of the options in the world for any sexual partner we desire, we still went with Dudes, like what is going through my mind? What kind of poor decision making skills does that reflect upon our community, especially at a time like this? Holy <laughs> tough time to be a straight woman, I'll say that much. <laughs> oh my god, I've got a lot of straight male friends, yeah, because I am an ally. <laughs> and they say they're like, Rose, it's a, it's a tough time to be a decent. A decent man, yeah. Do you know, yeah, you know it's a little bit harder is, is trying to be a straight woman at a time like this, given what we know about you now, okay? <laughs> and what the only accurate way I've come to describing what that truly feels like to be a straight woman at times like these is it almost feels like trying to recommend a restaurant that has given you food poisoning eight times, okay? <laughs> That's truly what it feels like. You tell your friends to go, you're like, no, 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 just go, just go, don't go online, don't read the reviews, don't read that, don't go on Yelp. That's great, it's fine. Not all restaurants, yeah, not all restaurants, yeah? <laughs> they're good, they're really good, trust me. And I, but I still love men, I love to kiss them. Um, <laughs> I, I do, and um, I don't even think it's, I don't even think it's necessarily the fact that I like men, I think it's the type of men I traditionally go for. And um, it's a very specific type, I don't know if you have, I think we have them in the UK, we definitely have them in New Zealand. I'm total f nightmares. Do you have <laughs> that strain up here as well? That's my type on paper, my T on P, I go towards that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so easily forgiving of men. And also, on the flip side, I'm so easily impressed by men as well. That is my problem. Oh my God, if a man <laughs> can show a moderate level of skill in literally anything, <laughs> sign me up. Honest to God. <laughs> I see like a man, if I think like a man leaf blowing. knows like the right oil to have like a low smoke point to cook a steak. What, what, if a man can fold a fitted bed sheet. <laughs> Bellissimo, yeah? Like, <laughs> I genuinely think that men with their together could be quite a popular porn category. That would be <laughs> insane. 